Hello guys, this is Orof and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite wizard builds. I think it's super fun and it's also super efficient for open world farming. But it also works fine in dungeons because it has very high mobility and also decent damage output. So let's begin by taking a look at the skills. As primary attack I use electrocute but I'm barely using it only when I have to kill a red elite or a boss. And in the first skill slot I use slow time. In the second skill slot I use Teleport, in the third skill slot I use Arcane Wind, and in the fourth and final skill slot I use Lightning Nova. Let's continue by looking at the Essences and the Magical Affixes. And the Affixes is very important for this build, so please pay close attention. If we start by looking at the Helmet slot, I'm using Terminus Facade, and what it says is that slow time now causes you to enter Temporal Flux, causing your non channel skills to reduce the cooldown of your other skills and increase your movement speed. Slow time's cooldown cannot be reduced by this effect. Also, we can look at the magical affix here, and we can see that I have a rush affix that says that dash skill cooldown reduced by 3% when used after not taking damage for 3 seconds. And important to mention here is that these rush affixes, they stack on top of the normal cooldown reduction. So if we manage to reach the cap of 30% on our cooldown reduction, we can reduce it even further thanks to these new affixes, and that's what makes this build so strong. We can also look here now that whenever I'm using a skill, we can see that it reduces the cooldown of the other skill, except for slow time of course. If we look here on the chest piece, I'm using Coat of the Astrum, and what it says is that Lightning Nova now unleashes a wild arc that jumps rapidly between random targets, leaving behind sparks of electricity that continue to deal damage when it hits shocked enemies. And if we look here on the magical affixes, I have another rush affix that says that dash skills travel 0.09% further and faster for every 1% increase in movement speed. And thanks to the helmet, we will almost always be at full speed. That gives us 70% extra movement speed, so it works very well with this affix. And if you look now, whenever I use Lightning Nova, I release one of these arcs that jumps between enemies. And what's so good with this essence is the range of this skill. If you pay close attention, you can see how far away I manage to hit enemies thanks to this chest piece. And this means that when I'm running in an open area, I don't have to run to each pack. These arcs will automatically seek them up so I can kill off an entire room without having to get close to any enemy. So a super strong essence. What's also good about the essence is that I have several charges with a low cooldown, which means that it works very well with the helmet, because I want to have skills with a lot of charges and low cooldowns in order to be able to spam skills as often as possible. In the shoulder slot I use Expedient Escape, and what it says is that Teleport's cooldown is reduced by 0.5 seconds for each frozen enemy, up to a maximum of 5 seconds. And if we look at the magical affix, it's an eternal affix linked with Teleport, and it says that cooldown reduced by 0.02 seconds for every yard you traveled. And now we can start to see a pattern, because the key of this build is to reduce the cooldown of teleport as much as possible. And these two effects here will help me do so. To make the shoulder work, we need to have frozen enemies, and that's why I use fractured footsteps as the pants essence. And what it says is that teleport is now eye step dealing damage and freezing enemies at the target location. We can also see here on the magical affix that I have another of these eternal affixes for teleport. And what this pants does is that whenever I teleport to a location, I will freeze all enemies in an area. And while doing so, thanks to the shoulders, I will also lower the cooldown. So if you look carefully now, you can see that whenever I land on some monsters, you can also see the cooldown of teleport going down a little bit. In the first main hand I use Mr. Lorend, and what it says is that Arcan Wind now unleashes a condensed Arcan Vortex that bounces between you and multiple enemies, damaging and slowing them. Enemies already slowed will become immobilized. And also in the main hand slot I have a third of these eternal fixes for teleport. The main reason for using this essence is because it has a lot of charges and it also has a very low cooldown. And as I said, we want skills with low cooldowns and many charges because that will help us to decrease the cooldown of teleport further. In the first offense slot I use Frenetic Spark and what it says is that Lightning Nova cooldown is reduced by 18.6%. And 
I don't really need this cooldown reduction, so I use this offhand just for the awakening effect, that it increases the damage a little bit. But this is an excellent tool for anyone to just make sure that the cooldowns on your skills are as low as possible. We can also take a look here at the eternal affixes. On this item I have two clandestine affixes that are not really useful for this build, but I just wanted to show them anyways, because what's good to know about these affixes is that they stack with other movement speed buffs. So thanks to this, we are now able to reach the movement speed cap on all the classes. Doesn't matter if you're a monk or if you are a demon hunter. You can use the clandestine affix here and you can reach 70% movement speed. In the second main hand slot, I use Radiant Splines. What it says is that when Lightning Nova deals a critical hit, it emits a charged bolt that deals damage. And this cannot occur more often than once every second. And we can also take a look here at the affixes on this item. And here I have two rush affixes. The first one reduces the dash skill cooldowns whenever I defeat a monster. And the second one, we have already seen it before, it enables me to travel a little bit further and faster whenever I dash. The reason why I use this essence is just because it adds an extra burst of damage whenever I critically hit someone with the Lightning Nova. The last essence is my second offhand, and here I use Weathering Eye. And what it says is that Arcane Wind now also applies a 30% reduction to movement speed for 6.4 seconds. And the main reason for using this essence is because I want this awakening effect that reduces the cooldown a little bit. Let us also take a quick look here at the fixes. I have another rush fix where the skill cooldown of dashes is reduced by 3% when used after not taking damage for 3 seconds. This one we've already seen before as well. So to summarize, we need to stack as many affixes as possible that affects our dash skills. And in this case it's the teleport skill. And here in front of us we have a list of all of the rush affixes that you can collect. On top of this you can of course also collect the eternal affix for teleport. And there's also a final affix that's useful, and it says that control skill cooldown recovery rate increased by 0.5% after killing 10 enemies, up to a maximum of 7.5%. This affix works very well with this build, because when we use the pants that we are using here, the skill teleport is not only a dash skill, it's also a control skill. So it will also be affected by this final affix here. I use two different sets for this build, and the first one is Vitus Urge. I use four pieces to ensure that I have 100% uptime on slow time, and also to increase my movement speed a little bit. On top of that, I also use four pieces of Gloom Guide's Prize, and this is because we are dashing all the time with the teleport, so this will both give us some extra damage and critical hit chance. Also, I urge you to look for cooldown reduction on your necklace, on your gloves, and on your rings because the lower cooldown reduction we have, the more skills we can spam to teleport more often. Here you can see my legendary gems for this build. I use Bottled Hope, Seeping Bile, Viper's Bite, Volatility Shard, Blood Soaked Jade, Roiling Consequence, Igneous Scorn and Void Spark. And of course you don't need to get your legendary gems this highly ranked as I have, because I'm overkilling every monster. It's enough if you get the 2 star gems to rank 5 or 6, and if you get the 5 star gems to rank 2 or 3. The Void Spark for example you can use it at rank 1 and just put it as an auxiliary gem in one of your other 5 stars. I use this specific package especially in open world farming and Abyssal Verge and similar types of content because it has a lot of dot effects and it also has some explosions from Volatility Shot and Igneous Scorn. On top of that I also have Void Spark that helps me spread these effects around in a big area so this helps me to kill off packs far away. I only have to hit one monster one time and everything will die. And this enables me to just keep running, which is key in this type of content. I also want to remind you to increase your size as much as possible because that increases our movement speed. And to do this, we have to switch to Brawler Paragon and the old Warden effects, and we also have to switch to the Protector Warband Room, because there we have a very strong remnant that increases our size by 15%. So as you can see here, we have incredible mobility with this build, we deal lots of damage, it's very very efficient, and it's also very fun to play. 
I really like this button smashing and to dash around left and right. And I hope that you enjoy this build as well. And until next time, I want to wish you a very nice day or a very nice evening wherever you are. And of course, to all of my clan members in Nyx, I would also like to say Voruk Nyx, Sholak Sol. So, bye bye.